all right hi everyone welcome to my video uh, my name is somil shah and in this video we are learning about the raspberry pi and the dht sensor so without wasting further time let's get started so the main thing here to note is the adafruit library i had a lot of issues with it so if you install with python 2 then you won't be able to execute that command with python 3 space name of the file dot py but if you configure your uh, if you configure your system for python 3 it won't work for python what i mean to say to be more specific let me show you uh, uh the library all right so i am navigating here and uh, be very careful when you are executing any commands here because once you do then otherwise you have to re, uh, re re reload your firmware because that's what happened with me so if you want to use python 3 then only execute these commands or else python 2 then execute these commands so i was using python 3 so i have installed these commands so first is apt-get update then i have to install pip then i have to install setup tools dot wheels then i install the library via pip 3 and uh, then that's it now let me go to my raspberry pi and show you some couple of beautiful examples that is uh uh that i have wrote uh, the code in python basically so so those who don't know about me i am a python developer i usually make a lot of tutorials on python so let's get started so let me first of all explain you the basic outline of the code how the code works so first of all we are importing tk inter as tk and numpy just to generate some random numbers date time to and threading threading basically to run the piece of uh, function after an interval of seconds So first of all, I define my main window equals to tk dot tk. You can see. Then uh, I'm just defining a label for my clock. I I say that as a clock. Then I'm just defining the grid. Then I'm defining a label uh, for the sensor data. So something like this. Let me run that. So it's more clear to you. So I have my date. I have my sensor data, temperature, and here is the value from the sensor. Okay. So let's get started. So that was just a dummy value right now. Let me show you the code basically. So I am creating a label known as dot l underscore t, which is which will hold the value for the temperature. And uh, now I have written a function known as get data outside the main loop, outside above the main window. So threading dot timer. So basically, I'm gonna call this function after five seconds. I'm getting a random number from zero to forty, and just basically I'm updating the label that is label config text equals to x of zero. So whatever data I get, just basically update on the text. And if you run this code, you can see in action that in live the code would be updated uh, after every five seconds. So here you see. Now how do we implement this uh, piece of Python code and on my Raspberry Pi? It's not that difficult. It's just take a little efforts. Um, I don't know if I can. Uh, I I maybe if I am well while I'm editing my video, I can include the video for my sensor. So let me just record it and show you. So I'm just gonna take a quick. Uh, I'm I am going to take a quick photograph of the setup of the setup here. So I am using my DHT22 sensor. So let me show you the setup so I can. Uh, uh so basically i i what i'm doing is basically uh it is connected to three wires that is vcc ground and the data the data is connected to the gpio 4 let's see the image right there from the airdrop of the iphone so here you see i have a dht22 sensor the node mcu i haven't connected basically i am using a raspberry pi so here you see the red is vcc then I, the blue one is the data which connects to the gpio um, 4 and the black one is ground usually so let me just delete it because i want i like to keep my computer uh, a little bit all right so this is the dht library and this is the software that i have written so make sure guys so what we did is basically instead of a get function here you you would be writing a dht sensor code so let's me let me run that in a python idle and show you live in action all right so i'm going to go to run run module and here you should see a interface so that's pretty beautiful and it's updating live um i know a lot of people will say hey i don't trust you so for them here is the sensor and the raspberry pi i am not sure if you can see that uh, it's a bit difficult to show you like this but i am going to blow some air and show you that this updates live So basically, here you can see the humidity is changing from 26 to 28 percent, and temperature is pretty much same here. It's 25.4. So from 0.1 degrees to 
two degrees change so you can see so this is changing live right now so uh, exercise for you how about you can add the data of humidity on the user interface try go ahead and try to do that uh, let me stop the code right here I'm gonna press um, control C on my Mac and I'm um, gonna close it and just gonna explain you the code real quick so just basically I'm importing the importing the adafruit.dht library and uh, inside the get function i'm just calling the threading model for five seconds so this function is executed after every five seconds so basically temperature humidity adafruit.read so reading the va values and configuring my label that's it that's it i mean it's so simple uh, i have also developed some complicated uis but uh, in order to you know uh, uh, get uh, in order to understand those uh, code you have to get your basics clear so let me just quickly show you an example of an amazing user interface with python and uh, raspberry pi that i have just created so i just need to replace my get function with my sensor values so temperatures is nine so basically it, it temperatures is seven on the, temperatures uh, is 15 on the screen temperatures is 14 Macworld. so let me just stop that and it also uploads the data on the cloud server so you can see i have various module like sensor random which is generating a random values of sensor um basically i just need to replace that with my uh, any sensor that i'm using so process data where i'm processing the data plot data so basically plotting the data my text basically means text to speech so it's also stored in data in a database using sql lite post it to the cloud it is also being stored on thingspeak.com using cloud servers i am getting notification using if triple t i'm sending an email I'm sending all the data uh, data on my email ID, and I'm also getting the weather uh, notification. Everything on uh, uh, everything is going on. Like you can imagine the complete IoT solution. So you're posting data, you're processing data, you are visualizing data, you're storing data on a local database, you're uploading the data to the cloud server. So as usual, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video and uh, don't worry, this code would be there in the description section below. So you can go ahead and you know download it and play around with it. So if you have any questions or uh, if you have any questions, please let me know and I shall try my best to get back to you as soon as possible. And I would see you guys next time.